Okay, so, um, I haven't vlogged in a while, so I guess I'll take this opportunity to vlog just to kind of catch everybody up on what's going on. Uh, sorry for taking so long to post anything or let you guys know what's up. Um, life gets hectic sometimes, uh, but that's not really what the problem has been. I've been kind of caught up in my own feelings and uh, that was the whole purpose of doing this. So I'm really trying not to let myself uh, build the walls back up and remain open with this whole process because it really does help my mental health to remain open. So um, yes, I'm vlogging and driving. It's a terrible thing. Children don't do this. Don't live by example. So, uh, my last vlog told you guys that I was taking my antibiotics at home with these pressurized balls. That's been great. I'm still doing that. Instead of twice a day, I'm only uh, doing it once a day now. Um, funny thing about antibiotics of that nature is one of the side effects uh, is that it can shut your kidneys down. So they check my blood every week and make sure that my kidney function is still good and all that good stuff. Well, when I was taking it twice a day, the dose was a little too much for my kidneys to handle. So they backed down to once a day and uh, that's been great. Um, I got a call today. My white blood cell count is going down, which means the infection is uh, going away for sure. Um, I've responded very well with this round of antibiotics, so that's a plus. Um, yeah, I mean, basically, what's what's up is the um, I'm on nerve medication and antidepressants, but that's not doing the trick. <laughs> go figure. Like, you get toes chopped off and uh, you go through this traumatic experience in your life and a little bit of Celexa and Boost Bar doesn't cut it. Who would have thought? <laughs> Sorry for the sarcasm. It's a defense mechanism. So, I was going to try this vlogging thing out a little bit here. I don't know if I'll do another one of these, but for the time being, because I'm driving and it's a time crunch, uh, you know, I th thought we'd try it out. Show you some of my cute kids uh, that are exhausted from being at Mama and Papa's. They're both knocked out in the car. You know, car rides do wonders for children. Mr. Mom status here. <laughs> so, um, I, uh, what else to, to catch you guys up on really that I'm ready to talk about um, I reached out to an advocate group to attempt to apply for disability um, as much as I really 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 don't want to um, I I don't know if going back to work is a option for me just because uh, it seems that when I do work I get more problems than the working is worth um, so excuse me yeah I'm, I'm gross I burp all the time just ask my girlfriend um yeah uh, I maybe if I worked for a company that was more willing to accommodate um, me and let me like sit with my foot elevated and but I don't know because I have to take off so much to to go to doctors uh, so I, I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do uh, the depression mostly has come this time because I don't know what I'm gonna do um, the advocate group denied my case stating that I was too young and too educated to file for disability so, uh, yeah, don't educate yourself, kids. It'll bite you in the ass if you get your toes chopped off. Um, yeah, I'm really mad at, at the system. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this, like, 
PG-13 and not uh, cuss and scream, which was my other reason for blogging, not vlogging. My mouth can get me in trouble sometimes. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I don't understand how somebody who has a drug addiction at 18 can get disability because they're too fucking lazy. Oh, there we go. See, sorry. Um, to get a job because they want to shoot up drugs all day. But somebody like me who has a disease that... Oh, that's another thing. Um, I have a disease that I was born with. Now... I know I told you guys in my blog, I discussed the differences between type 1 and type 2. Well, um, new developments, my endocrinologist, which is a diabetic specialist, seems to think that I may have had type 1 all along, which means I've been misdiagnosed and not properly treated basically my whole life. So that's fun. Um, and I went to see my regular physician today and he concurs with that conclusion and he said that he's seeing a lot of patients around my age that are having that problem um, 90s kids problems ha that's a hashtag um, just because back in the early 90s the education on diabetes was sparse um, Doctors didn't really know how to treat it or what it was or I mean they had some education but nowhere near what we have now and uh, I mean it's great I'm extremely thankful for our advances in modern medication don't get me wrong uh, yeah that's that's great but I mean my life is forever changed um, there will always be challenges that I may not be able to overcome and I'm I'm trying to deal with that but I'm not dealing with it well I'm not gonna lie to you guys it's not a it's not a great thing <laughs> a great way for me to deal uh, my wiener dog is getting in his spot um, yeah I don't know I uh, I don't know where I'm at right now, guys. I really, really, truly don't. I don't have words to really put to paper, which is another reason um, I'm not really blogged. I mean, I, uh, I'm i having trouble putting my thoughts into words, um, which is why I say um a lot in this video. So... Uh, yeah, this is probably really poor quality and I apologize for dragging it on and, and saying um constantly and just uh, not really having much information. I haven't learned much to pass on to you guys. Uh, oh, yes I did. Yes I did. I have not yet told you guys about this awesome new blood sugar meter that I got that is amazing and I recommend it for anyone that is struggling with diabetes anyone that needs to do blood sugar checks I highly recommend you get one of these it's called a freestyle Libra and no they're not sponsoring this vlog um, be great though if you guys at freestyle want to pass some funds over here I will gladly, gladly push this product. Um, and I don't normally do that type of thing. And I wouldn't normally endorse anything. And I definitely wouldn't endorse something that I haven't myself tried. But I am telling you guys, this Freestyle Libra. L-I-B-R-E. I'll show it to you in just a second when I pull in and can safely show you. Um, best blood sugar meter ever. So what happens is instead of doing your finger pricks every day and letting the 
um, vampire of a blood sugar meter suck up your blood, you stab you well, you stab yourself. You stab yourself with what looks like a giant uh, thumbtack. I'll show it to you in my arm in just a second. Um, and what that does, they're excited. They're home. So, park guys, see, I can, you know, hurt. So, anyways, so what the uh, giant thumbtack does is it reads every 15 minutes what your blood sugar is. Now, if I check it right this second, it's going to be an hour behind. But that's okay. It knows what it is all day, every day. When I go to my endocrinologist, uh, she plugs it up into a computer and it prints out a graph and it shows her exactly how my blood sugars have been running even when I've not been checking it. So here's the meter. It looks just like your typical meter. And in fact, you can um, stick strips into this part here and check it the old-fashioned way if you want but if not which is really cool um let's see if i can show you guys it's a really bad angle but it's fine just for the time being the dogs hear the the seat building and they just know that they're getting out that's not the case because mommy's totally neglecting them busy vlogging okay so to show you guys okay so that's what it looks like in my arm and it's constantly checking my sugar all right so I'm gonna pull my shirt back down because it will scan through my clothing and I turn it on Let's see if I can get it there And we have a reading so and it's high so but yeah that's it 